Hi everyone, this is April Naylor and I am here to show you how to do a photo insert. And one of the problems that I see that is happening from several ladies on my team is that the sizing of your photo may be too big, sometimes it says too many pixels, or it is too small. So I'm going to show you a very simple way that you can change it and adjust the size of your photo so it fits on our photo insert. So the first thing that you need to do is I have a program called Paint. It is just free with my computer and it is one of the easiest things because I'm not very techy so I don't know how to use uh, Photoshop and some of the fancier programs. So I use a simple program called Paint. The icon looks just like this. My computer came with it. And let me show you first what your photo looks like. So anytime that somebody wants to put a picture on our photo insert, first thing I do is I want to see what it's going to look at, look like just by the way that they sent it to me. What do I need to do to the photo to make it look its best? So I'm going to get, show you a picture of one of my boys. This is Justin. And if I wanted to use this, first thing I want you to notice when it comes up is that it tells you what the size is. This is going to be important, these numbers right here. And then you can see is that you can adjust through 31 what you want to do. So say, for example, that I wanted this entire picture. I didn't want just down here. I don't want just up here. I want the entire picture. So it needs to be resized. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my paint program and I'm going to open that picture up. It is the same picture. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, it was in Boy Scouts and Justin. We're gonna, oh, that's a different picture of Justin. Where did, oh, I got it from when he went to West Point. That's where it was. Sorry. So let's open up this picture of Justin. And there it is. As you can see, he was quite muddy during his day. There is a button up here called Resize. And my excellent husband, who is very techy, he explained this to me, that this button right here, this Maintain Aspect Ratio, needs to be unchecked. That is very important. That way you can fix and change these numbers here to your own liking. So you can make it smaller so you can go in and, you know, sometimes it may take a little bit of playing with to make it the size that you want. But the very important part is to make sure that is not checked. And as soon as I hit OK, you will see that the picture changed size. So we are going to then save my new picture, we'll call it Justin Test, and I go back to here, and I want to change the picture. So I'm going to change photo, and I'm going to put up Justin Test, and you will see now that it's starting to be a little bit more. See these numbers right here? They changed. Okay, so more of the picture is now inside of what I want. And then if it's not enough, then I can go back here to paint, go to resize, uncheck that, go back to pixels. And you can see that if you get too dramatic with your numbers, how silly it will look. So you know that you've changed the pixels just a little bit too much. Now, I'm definitely not an expert on knowing right offhand what you should do. And sometimes you need to change just one number and not both numbers. You will see that this one is for horizontal and this is vertical. And each time you go in, you're going to want to uncheck that because for some reason in paint, it automatically has it checked off. So you are going to want to make sure that you are changing these. And as you can see, if I make it too big, it gets really grainy on the photo. So sometimes you just have to play with it a little bit to see what ones are going to be the best numbers. Whoops. And you got to do it under pixels. It's going to be the best one for what you actually want to make sure is showing up underneath 
and on all sides because the biggest thing is cutting off somebody's head. I did that on a picture, and fortunately, um, customer service was really, really good about doing an exchange for them. So that is it in its simplest version. Two things when they, two important things. When they send you the picture, make sure that you put your picture here first. So you know, are you making the picture smaller? Or are you making the picture bigger? What are you trying to hone in on? Um, and then go to your paint program and you go up here to resize. And the biggest thing is making sure this is unchecked and then go into pixels and play with these two numbers right here. So I hope this helped you. If there is any questions, if it's any confusion, please make sure to reach out to me and let me know. But this is the way that I've been doing it. I'm sure that maybe somebody who is more advanced with uh, Photoshop might have it done a different way, but I can do this with a photo in five minutes or less and it all works out um, for my customer. So thanks again. I hope this helps and uh, take care. Thanks. Bye-bye.